you don't have to leave the country to eat these amazing Mexican hot dogs. For our bacon wrapped Mexican dogs today, we're gonna to be using Nathan's Colossal Beef Franks. I've never seen these before, never eaten them before, but I know that these have to be good. Now with the bacon, you do wanna make sure that it's pretty thin, that way it gets nice and crispy, doesn't overcook this dog. And we're gonna go with two pieces here, but I don't wanna overlap it at all. So, and that's all there is to it. We're just gonna throw this on the grill. We're gonna start by putting all of our hot dogs indirect today. And I'm also making sure that the bacon seam is down so I can kind of lock that in place while it cooks. Now I wanna make sure the vents are right over the hot dogs. We want all the airflow to go out and over the hot dogs. That's where the most heat's gonna come from. While the hot dogs are going, let's go ahead and make our pico de gallo. For our pico de gallo today, we're gonna to start with eight Roma tomatoes, one white onion, We've also got two jalapenos and one bundle of cilantro. And last but not least, the juice of two lemons. And now we'll start with about a tablespoon of salt. We'll mix. Now at this point you can have two things. You can either have a perfect palate and know that you have the right or wrong amount of salt, or you can have your sister in the background telling you that you need to keep adding more. Also gonna give some to my nephew. Good? Good. So if Levi says it's perfect, then it's perfect. We'll move on to making the hot dogs. It's been about 35 minutes. We just wanna go ahead and check on our bacon dogs. And in my opinion, these are looking absolutely outrageous. Bacon is looking nice and cooked. I got a good color on these hot dogs. You can see they're splitting a little bit. Oh my gosh, my mouth is literally watering taking a look at these. So I think that these are perfect. They are done. We're gonna go ahead and take these off. And now we're gonna build our Mexican hot dog. I've got three perfect brioche buns here. And now to put our extremely large glizzies in bacon wrapped of course we're gonna do a quick audible we're gonna take the glizzy out and we're gonna put this Hellman's chili lime mayonnaise in here so what I'm gonna do is just take the glizzy out a little mayo also gonna throw in a few slices of avocado back in with the oversized glizzy and over top with my perfect pico de gallo recipe. Cross section looking amazing. Of course, now it's time to take a bite. I'm not sure if I can open that wide, but I'm gonna do my best. Bro. Number one, Nathan makes the best hot dog out there. I don't care what anyone says. These are the greatest. Bacon wrapped on another level. Pico de Gallo is perfect. The creaminess from the avocado and of course that mayonnaise really just elevates this to another level you absolutely have to try this it's so 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 easy to make in your backyard shout out to my boy jesse he gave me this idea jesse you're the man and this is absolutely delicious real quick i'm gonna get my nephew in here real fast he's gonna take a bite of this glizzy as well and let us know what he thinks mm. these might be the best hot dogs i ever had in my life i mean hands down to pop these are the goat as always, we really appreciate you guys tuning into this video. Thanks, and we'll see you on the next one. And last but not least, the juice of two onions. <laughs> Stupid. And last but not least. <laughs> and last but not least. Dang it. <clears throat>